Donald Trump has become the first president in the history of the United States to be impeached twice after being charged with incitement of insurrection over last week's deadly storming of Congress. The House of Representatives accused Mr. Trump of encouraging violence with his false claims of election fraud. He now faces trial in the upper chamber, the Senate, but not before he leaves office next Wednesday. Senators can vote to bar him from ever holding public office again. With the Capitol secured by armed National Guard, the House voted 232 against 197 to impeach Trump. Ten Republicans also joined the Democrats in backing impeachment. Trump's fiery speech at a rally just before the January 6th riot is at the center of the impeachment charge against him. At least five people died in the violence that ensued as pro-Trump protesters breached barricades and advanced into the halls of the Capitol building, smashing windows and brawling with police officers. Meghalaya Chief Minister Konrad Sangma is likely to discuss the issue of delay in implementation of inner line permit in the state with Union Home Minister Amit Shah during his visit to the state on January 23rd. Amit Shah is likely to visit Meghalaya on January 23rd to chair the plenary meeting of the Northeastern Council to be held in Shillong. The ruling Meghalaya Democratic Alliance MDA government has decided to seek Amit Shah's intervention for the center's approval to the resolution adopted by the Meghalaya Assembly for implementation of ILP in the state. If Home Minister Amit Shah visits Meghalaya, we will meet him in Shillong, informed Chief Minister Konrad Sangma. Sangma also added that if the visit of the Union Home Minister gets cancelled, he would visit New Delhi and take up the matter with him. It has been over a year now that the Meghalaya Assembly had adopted a resolution for implementing ILP regime in the state. Delay in the grant of ILP to the state by the centre has once again raised apprehension amongst various pressure groups in Meghalaya. In Tripura, copies of the three controversial farm laws were set on fire by left-front-backed All India Kisan Sangharsh Coordination Committee, a joint forum of various farmers' organizations demanding repeal of the three laws in Agartala. The copies of the three farm laws were burned at Paradise Square in Agartala. Apart from the activists of the All India Kisan Sangharsh Coordinating Committee, the protest was also joined by CPIM leader Prab. Pabitra Kar, former MPs Jitendra Chaudhary and Motilal Sarkar. The farmers have pledged before this fire to continue their struggle until the centre repeals the three controversial farm laws, CPIM leader Pabitra Kar said. Thousands of farmers continue to stage demonstrations near the Delhi border in protest against the three farm laws passed in the parliament. Even after several negotiations between the centre and the protesting farmers failed to yield any result, the Supreme Court intervened and constituted a committee to look into the matter. However, the protesters have rejected the Supreme Court-formed committee, saying they are pro-government. Even as the outbreak of bird flu has been confirmed in 10 states till now, the Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairying has requested the states to reconsider decision to ban import of poultry and poultry products from other states. Observing that many states were banning poultry and poultry products from other states, the ministry said such move would add to the negative impact on the poultry industry. According to the ministry, cases of avian influenza have been confirmed in 10 states as of 13th of January 2021. Further cases of unnatural mortality of birds have been reported in Gandharbal district of Jammu and Kashmir and four districts of Jharkhand. States were directed to identify BSL-2 labs at the state level for speeding up the identification of infection in the state and timely introduction of control mechanism. In sports, Indian badminton superstar Saina Nehwal has tested positive for COVID-19. This is the second time since last month that Saina Nehwal has tested positive for COVID-19. Nehwal tested positive in the third COVID-19 test after arriving in Bangkok, Thailand. Nehwal along with HS Pranoy, who also has tested COVID-19 positive, have been shifted to the hospital. 
Meanwhile, the Badminton World Federation BWF has confirmed that four players tested positive for COVID-19 in the tests that were conducted on Monday in Bangkok. Like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for news that matters and stories that inspire.